Nelson Mandela said this was the center point of his world when he was spending 27 years in prison. It's this small home in Soweto where Nelson Mandela moved with his first wife, Evelyn, and lived with his second wife, Winnie, before he had to go into hiding. It's now become a, a modest museum. So for South Africans and tourists who are concerned over the critical condition of the former president, it's now become a place to reflect on Madiba's legacy. He's lived an absolutely incredible life and you know to be here at this time he's a gift for all the people for the people of South Africa but for all the world in the vision that he brought to be able to help with the end of apartheid not through violence but through the openness of his heart he fought for um, a very good cause and helping others and especially black people here in South Africa so I think that's how he's going to be remembered. It's really, really sad because the world still need him. He's the guy who fought for our freedom. Today we're free because of him. All South Africans can do now is sit and wait patiently for an official update on the health of the Nobel Peace Prize winner. But over the past year, people in this country have come to terms with the possibility of Madiba's passing. Still, it will be difficult for South Africans to find a replacement for a man considered to be at the moral center of post-apartheid South Africa. Errol Barnett, CNN Soweto.